Hello, YouTube family. It's time for the curls and the scoop, and today we went for the extra curls. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Let's get this hugging. It's not cute not knowing, and now we're going to know. Actor Alec Baldwin. Remember that rust shooting that took place a few months ago? Alec Baldwin is being charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter because he, the gun, he was he was holding it that went off. Hannah Gutierrez Reed, she was in charge of all the props. She got charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter because how did a real bullet wind up in prop guns? The two counts of involuntary manslaughter, it's involving the shooting of the cinematographer, Helena Hutchins, and she died that day. They're filming on Rust. It was, it was a tragic accident, or was it? Alec Baldwin faces 18 months in jail. Now, he gave Helena Hutchins' family a whole bunch of money in the settlement. They was like, we don't care. It, it was some sort of negligence. And who was it? Alec Baldwin did that interview with George Stephanopoulos. I said, he ain't got no friends. He should have never done that interview. And of course, he's doing everything to save his career. He was like, well, I ain't shoot it. Oh, Alec, who shot it? You, you had the gun in your hand. The scene called for you to shoot at something. No one knew that it was real damn bullets in the gun. The big question is, how did real bullets get in it? Was it a case of sabotage? It was a whole mess. But that loaded gun, how did it make its way on the set? Was it negligence? But these two. Now, there was another guy, an assistant director. He pleaded guilty. He said, I ain't going to jail. I'm going to plead guilty. What, what fines do I have to play? To pay. But Alec Baldwin, he should never did that interview. I sat there and watched that interview, and I said, ooh, everything you say is going to come back to haunt you. Will he be able to salvage his career? Who knows? He faces 18 months in jail. Stephen A. Smith has apologized to Rihanna. Rihanna's performing at the Super Bowl. He said, she's no Beyonce. You know, Stephen A. Smith, the sports writer, sportscaster, all-around entertainment guy in sports, has a new book out called Straight Shooter. And he is not known for being quiet. So when he made this comment, she ain't no Beyonce. Y'all think Beyonce's fans is crazy. Rihanna got this, uh, Rihanna has this, Rihanna Navy. Yeah. Um, he apologized, said he did not mean, you know, a lot of people are looking forward to what Rihanna is going to be doing. The boyfriend, ASAP Rocky, said he's so excited. I think a lot of people are excited because the show is going to be almost a half hour. You got the biggest stage in the world because she's going on tour this year. Then she's going to launch a stadium tour. But who is going to be performing with her? Because it is going to be big. I mean, big. I can't wait to see the halftime show. But Stephen A. Smith has apologized to Rihanna. I want to say Rihanna so bad. Okay, Rihanna. Because I was, I was pronouncing it wrong. They said the whole time. Meek Mill, Kim Kardashian. Are they dating? They were working very closely on the criminal reform, and now that Kanye West is remarried, I guess Kim said, I'm going to date. But is Philadelphia rapper Meek Mill that guy? Meek is best known for dating Nicki Minaj. And Nicki went through a lot with him. She tried to ride it out with him, but it just didn't work out. They're saying, don't be surprised if you see them at the Super Bowl parties, at the Oscar parties. So this is a little come up for Meek Mill. Now, is he being used? We'll see. And I'm sure he'll talk about it. Savannah Guthrie of the Today Show. She's going to be launching a new animated show on Netflix entitled Princess Power, teaming up with 
Drew Barrymore, who is now a talk show host, it debuts and starts streaming on Netflix January the 30th. In my excitement on announcing Teddy Riley going into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, I failed to mention that Sade was going to. The notables are Sade, Teddy Riley, Snoop Dogg, and Gloria Estefan. Sade, the many great songs in the 80s, a style like no other. Now, this is the big question. The ceremony should take place in New York, January 15th. Is she going to leave? Is she going to cross the pond to attend? Because she don't go nowhere. They're teaming new music. Sade is coming out with new music. When are we going to get it? She makes you wait for a long time. And I think it's been 12 years now since we had to wait for new music. But she is being inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. And a big congrats to her. Jada Pinkett Smith is the executive producer of a new Netflix documentary on African Queens. It's a series. She is the executive producer. It's going to start streaming on Netflix next month. Get ready for season two of Bel Air. It's coming back to the Peacock Network February 23rd. On that Thursday, in about 10 Thursdays after that, you're going to see new episodes pop up of Bel Air. It's kind of based on the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, which was a hit show with Alfonso Ribeiro and Will Smith years ago. But Bel Air ain't nothing like it. It's nothing. If you go in there thinking you're going to see Carlton doing the dance, Carlton is selling drugs. It's very, it's it's a dramatic twist to Fresh Prince, and it's just called Bel Air. Actress Tatiana Ali, she played Ashley Banks on the original Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Well, she's coming back to play an English literary literary teacher who becomes close to the new Ashley Banks. So this is going to be interesting. The role that she plays. Uncle Phil is so fine in this peacock. He is. I interviewed him. <laughs> and I said, well, you're a fine Uncle Phil. And he just started laughing. But it's very different. But it's very good. I want to tell you about another actor. Actor Russell Hornsby. I first met him years ago. Um, he was in the movie Fences. And he came by the radio station. Denzel directed he and Viola Davis starred. Well, Russell Hornsby is, he plays the dad in Black Mafia Family, which has been renewed for a third season on Stars. Also, he just got nominated Best Supporting Actor, NAACP Image Awards for his role in the Muhammad Ali, well, not Muhammad Ali, in the Mike Tyson movie. He played Don King. Don King was, was so instrumental in so many boxers, but he played Don King. You know what? He was pretty good. We talked about what it meant, this black mafia family. And you think about the 80s, and there was a period, crack really destroyed many homes, many communities. He talked about the family dynamic and why do people turn to drugs? And make a business out of selling drugs. It's a dangerous business. But some people, they do do it to help their families because our family don't have anything. So they turn to a life of crime. Russell Hornsby, just amazing. He really just opened my eyes because he was like, yeah, these two guys, they came from a two-parent household. But they still wound up getting into a life of crime and became these huge drug lords. Russell Hornsby, um, wonderful actor, and it was a really, really great conversation with him. The Upshots are coming back, and we've got the official date. Next month, it's Mike Epps, Wanda Sykes, Kim Fields. It starts streaming February 16th. It's going to be 8 episode so watch out for it but it is coming the upshaws another season surprisingly surprisingly very good it really surprised me but the third season is coming leave a comment i still got to go through all the michael jackson comments and things like that so give me a minute because i'm going to be doing all of that 
today. But leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. You never know, you never want to miss anything because you never know. You never know what the hair is going to be or, or what's going on or the scoop because there's always, always, always scoop. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. I'm Patty Jackson. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. Short A going into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Thanks so much for joining me today. It's not cute not knowing, and now you know. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture.